Is there anything I can't show right now? Can I leak something? I don't think so. I mean, they're they're calling for you to leak the release dates. <laughs> I don't know the release yes, dates. Yes, exactly. You would need to know it first. <laughs> uh. Hey guys, and welcome back to World War Wednesday. We had a pretty nice winter holiday, but it's time for some more World War II. And this time, I'm not going to forget to say hot cold <laughs> <laughs> it's almost as hot as this winter i mean there's not really been any snow at all wow that so. was bad <laughs> we're gonna continue as holland and if we scroll down right here we can see that we have absolutely nothing and we can check right here we are a government in exile but we also decided to instead of just playing as a government in exile we decided to take over our dear colonies we'll get back at the germans by kicking the ass <laughs> of the japanese that's how you do it <laughs> exactly exactly where do we want to go right now uh we ha went down there, there, continue war in Batavia. 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 Yes. God damn it, I said the same thing last time. Whatever. <laughs> so we can continue down here and actually expand our colonial army. We get a very nice bonus right there for these islands. Plus 25% of well, That's local non-core map. Western capital. Yes, build up us. A slight bit yep. right there. Um, but we can also go, well, well, also go. We, we are gonna quite soon, hopefully, gonna go and just improve our current military industry. It's not really... Well, that great no. so far. You you get some focuses because uh, well you lose all of the industry in the mainland obviously and uh, so give them a kick in the butt just yeah. boost them up a tiny bit exactly. right there and then we we'll prepare for our return and then hopefully eventually liberation. Yes. Some nice Dutch flag on the tank right there. Uh huh. Oh wait. Yeah, you didn't take Phillips yet. Okay, that makes my plan a bit more difficult to choose. <laughs> He had been discussing what to do next and... But, uh, yeah, we only have three of them as well, so yeah. let me see. Yeah, we have stuff to do. <laughs> There's a lot of focuses. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And we did decide to go quite far into the defensive tree. We, yeah, we didn't well. need to. Well, it did help us. We have 60, 63 yeah. legitimacy from True. the very beginning. We're gonna jump into unity through democracy. So mm -hmm. I'm gonna still decide on picking this because this is gonna give us weak visibility, 0 0.10, not that much for 1095 days. Yeah, lovely, that, lovely. That is lovely. a long uh, a yeah. long amount of time. You yeah. got to count how long it will be before the Japanese show up, right? Because Ooh, right. we have about a year before they show up. Um if a year. they show up. If they arrive earlier, we can go down a bit more industry yeah. and filling up. If they arrive later, we can of course go for well, our research. Yeah, lot. but you can only have like four or five focuses before they come over, I think. Yeah, exactly. This is not actually the biggest tree uh, out there. I think that uh, Britain was the biggest tree in the of the vanilla trees and it still is the biggest one with the expansion industry wise i still believe in us boosting up our current focuses how are the resources down here okay we have a lot of <laughs> everything we don't need <laughs> damn five more civilian factors right there that's pretty decent in two good areas actually should we why should we build civilian factories right now i think we should militarize as much as we bloody can we don't have that many slots and true but you don't have any steel anywhere right so you need no. uh, civilian factories to yeah. trade for steel i'm very very hesitant on building yeah. right here but it's only one slot on both these areas yeah. i mean everyone knows the uh, the incredible military industry of uh, <laughs> of, west of papua. the western papua and yeah. And the Timor Islands, Island <laughs> and so on. Mm -hmm. That was why Japan invaded them. They were like oh, military yes. industry right there. Exactly. Why and does it take eight months to release a DLC? Because it's a damn good DLC. <laughs> <laughs> it's a damn big one. Mm -hmm. We should have made it smaller and released for more money. Loot boxes. I, I, I call for Daniel, uh, head of uh, marketing and uh, <laughs> uh, Stellaris did that already. Fan. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I was laughing my ass off during that time. That was a, that yeah. was a good stream. And it's empty. <laughs> <laughs> But it does give us a s inexplicable <laughs> sense of pride and accomplishment. Yes. Oh, do we actually want to upgrade our navy a bit? Can we get anything super good, like a big ass battleship, and improve it? If we get a really good light cruiser mm -hmm. and just try to really focus on destroying the opponent's screens. And you do get a bonus for light cruiser production, right? Right. Because right. you took I, I, uh, on the left, you took uh, foundations of defense. That one. Yeah. So that's actually better. Light hull and cruisers. Yep. We're gonna get a super good light cruiser that focuses on, well, destroyers. Anti-destroyer. Anti yeah, yep. really. So let's research that. Everything I do will be useless. Well, and Japan every, will everything ruffle Daniel me. does is uh, useless anyway, so... <laughs> <laughs> wow, wow, that was evil. <laughs> well, if you believe so, then we'll see. But I still have a problem with 
will Japan even reach us? Succeed so I was playing this path uh, earlier today to test a little bit, and uh, I got massively invaded in uh, the East Indies. Yeah. So uh, <laughs> yeah, we have done actually quite many buffs changes, more like it yes. to Japan. Right, we can't pick this. No, we have to get yeah. rid of our defeatist government. Exactly. Uh, the Geer and can, that would uh, actually be pretty nice. That's Warsport minus 10%. And we replace it by plus 5, so yeah. it goes 15% up. Or should we go down and actually get that tech slot right now? Well, if you want to build more divisions, you definitely want to take the manpower yeah. from the... But right now our industry army. isn't good enough to support it. Well, we then build the infra infrastructure. The, sorry, the the... That one, yeah. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, let's pick that one to begin with, mm -hmm. the Western Capital. Let's go up a bit in speed. United Kingdom requests naval integration. So we can basically give our entire fleet to the British right now, and they will take care of it. And we're going to nope. say we will not serve under them, because mm. we are above them. I think technically uh, most of the UK is actually above uh, the Netherlands in, in average height above sea level. So uh, I wouldn't say we were we are above them. The Dutch are high. Uh, well... <laughs> Ha, ha, ha. Sorry, I, I kind of had to. I didn't have anything, <laughs> any other card to play right now. I was thinking natural buildings, secret places, towers. <laughs> no, I don't have anything. Uh, resistance bank. Holy shit! Yeah. So you're only uh, you only can get that one if you're uh, if you have surrendered. I also well. realized that you don't you don't <laughs> uncapitulate uh, when you actually take the the East Indies. So it might be a little bit overpowered. <laughs> well, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I'm 100 okay with this. <laughs> I actually kind of think it might be fine unless someone finds a ridiculous abuse. Then we can just nerf the crap out of it. Wartime exception. Why should we make an exception? Well, we get some communism. Yeah, but. We are also have right now the lovely unity through democracies that's gonna bump that down. Yeah. So, free stuff. I am always happy to accept free stuff. Oh yeah, they're talking about motorized artillery, which right. is the new stuff that have we, we have. Have we shown that off? Yeah, I it's in the dev diary. Oh, nice. They're motorized artillery, motorized anti-air, and of course, motorized anti-tank guns. Mm -hmm. Just in case if you don't want to lose that, well, speed. lose that speed on your light tanks, yep. medium tanks, something like that, and you can't afford the current, well, mot uh, well uh, anti-tank. Tanks. Well, yes. Tank it's... destroyers. There we go. Tank destroyers or set propeller. But I mean, those are also slower, right? I think that uh, these are faster. They are. They are a bit slower. Well, mm -hmm. I don't actually think they're that much slower, if any. You currently have max speed nine on you and nine on you. No, they're, so they're not slower. They're just well, it's more expensive in mm. resources, and you also have to double produce it. Otherwise, you would just keep your infantry production with anti-tank guns and motorized, which you need for yeah. support equipment. Just bump that up. And you can produce this as well. We are always trying to fix these yep. issues. They are um, evaluated as quite high priority. Like every every single yep. ish, desync issue that we find, we mark as the highest priority to fix. Yes. So that's something we always work on. So either we go now with our research factories or we continue down right here. Let's just replace our freaking government right now. <laughs> I'm tired of it. <laughs> Remove you. He, he can Even grow. though he has a lovely mustache. He does have a great mustache. But I, I kind of like this focus as well. It's just sad that we can't pick it. No, um, so there's... The only man in the Dutch government. <laughs> <laughs> That's a quote from, uh, from Churchill, actually. There's a reason why they aren't compatible, because uh, the Queen uh, did not want to move the government to the East Indies, which is why it didn't oh. happen historically. Her excuse was, oh, the climate doesn't agree with me, but uh, in reality, she most likely just wanted to be very close to the decision-making process in London. 15-2, yeah, replace the defeated government. Excellent. The Queen fires! <laughs> Defeatish ministers. Boom. But does he have Little Churchill? Modify. His, that was his uh, nickname. They called him Little Churchill. He wasn't Churchill, but he was yeah. kind of like Churchill. He yeah. was also very, very defiant towards right, the... Right, 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 uh, right. He was called Little Churchill yeah. and she was called the only man. Or? Yes. Yeah. Exactly. That, that was how it is. Not li all the way around. Yeah. The US now joined the war. Yeah, that's and great. And now I'm going to go down and actually get Philip and uh, expand the R&D facilities. It's getting kind of a, bit, a tiny bit ridiculous right now that we can't actually continue right now. Uh, let's accept everything right here because mm -hmm. that most likely means we're at war with Japan. Yep, we're at war with Japan right now, so we need to be very, very careful how we uh, proceed right now. Don Dex, uh, I would like to revisit all of the focus trees. Uh, I mean, heck, there's stuff we did in uh, the or yeah, stuff we did in the current DLC for Man the Guns. Uh, which makes me go, well, maybe we can someday revisit Germany again or uh, <laughs> Japan again to, to put in some stuff that we've added now. So it, it never ends. There's always more focus trees that you want to revisit. So let's see how much you have. 12 destroyers. 
Ah, uh, that's gonna be hard. That's gonna be a hard decision. Let's let's see if we can actually garrison our areas out here a tiny bit. Oh, Nick. Um, personally, I look forward to doing uh, the Soviet Union. I think that's uh, that's a tree that has a lot of potential, and there's a lot of cool stuff that you could do with that. I think that's probably on the top of my of my desired list, which by no means is the same as what is gonna happen. Why did you confirm it? Why did you confirm it? I did not confirm anything. You know everything we say is confirmed straight out oh, 100%. Oh yes, true. Let's see, are you gonna join them right now? Because I would kinda like to assign a couple troops right here then, just in, ta just in case. Singapore is super important for them not to get, because that's a lot of stuff that Japan wants. And you two divisions, well, guess what? You're gonna be the guys to actually move up right there. Uh, so we're gonna have to do some island... Are they here? Have they arrived? Bad Japan. Uh oh. <laughs> Here it comes. The the Japanese tide is washing over but, the East Indies. But so far it's fine. <laughs> so far it's fine. That's what you say. That's one unit that is standing right there attacking. I would probably have heard the other ones. <laughs> uh, let's see. And holy shit, they actually managed to sink my convoys. Did... So we just lost those two guys. <laughs> This is this is how Hello. they break us, Daniel. This Hello, is how God they. My own friend. Uh, yes. Uh, come on, just attack with both those units and kill them. No, you, really, without supply or anything else, you're still. Look, Daniel, they're giving you preemptive Fs already. <laughs> <laughs> No, I think we'll be all right. We're At this right rate, now. we're on track for a historical uh, loss of the East Indies. I mean, <laughs> historically, they were taken in March uh, 1942, so three more months and then, then we're dead. I'm gonna call it right now. Uh, we are hopefully... let's see... Wait, we, we were possible, yeah. Industry. Industry first, Daniel, not anything else. I wanna pick I wanna pick fighters, <laughs> I wanna pick I, I have so much things to research right now, I have no clue what to actually pick. Only three slots still. Feels bad, <sighs> man. There we go. Four. Soon. <laughs> now they're calling confirmed March nineteen forty two <laughs> for the release date. Yes. <laughs> uh, five Japanese divisions coming right here, but our lovely defenders are proudly holding their ground. And what the fuck happened right here? Yeah, yeah that's... These two guys moved over to properly help us right there in the north, and they left this one undefended. But, come on, come on, just walk in right there. Just walk in right there, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, people are now reshuffling quite a bit, so I'm just gonna disband <laughs> you guys, so you don't take any stupid port runs right now. See, we could actually uh -oh. just do a restrictive policy right now. So if I just tell them to, well... There's a gigantic uh, group of uh, no. divisions that just showed up in that port. They might have yeah. gained a yeah, foothold. I, I know, I know. I should have done this long before, before all of my... T minus one month to die. This is... Uh, we're on track still. No, never, never. What is it, March 22nd, I believe? We're charging they, in they right there and intercepting them. In, in the East Indies? March 22nd, I think. Ah, there we go. Oh, Forcing oh, them out. There we go. Come on, Japan, you can do it. Get in there. <laughs> there we go. Nice. Oh, obviously, just against Daniel. I'm rooting for the Dutch, but against Daniel. <laughs> <laughs> wow. That's just evil. Uh, let's see. Japan okay. was the first uh, country with uh, uh, bicycle divisions in the game. Uh, the Netherlands is going to be the second, indeed. That is correct. It seems like going through a very long and far path, we can still reach the US without actually being harassed that much. <laughs> nice. So I think that's... <laughs> we're just going around Australia. Oh, the UK have sent divisions right there. That's where oh, they're wow. holding right now. Okay. Uh, I'm 100% fine with it. And the rush is just expanding right here. Seems like Japan will fall. Bye-bye, Japan. So... So what, what Are we gonna done? survive this? Yeah. We're I trying hope. to hold on against the Japanese, they're pressuring us hard, but we're building up our power base. And hopefully we can soon turn the tide back. Well, I guess we'll see next week. But anyway guys, hope you enjoyed it. And we'll see you guys next time. See you guys next time. Bye. Bye bye.